a group of surfers with multiple titles that is really something special. Slater, Carol, Curran, uh, the list goes on, but it, it's going to be awesome to watch. Kelly Slater with 11 world titles, out of contention this year, but can chase down a, a historic eighth Pipe Masters win. He's up against Kanoa Igarashi and Leonardo Firavanti. Now here we go, live action, Slater is up, a 45 year old, finding some cover in the early stages here. So he'll bank a number in the opening stages, still just under 20 minutes to go, but Slater, such an amazing record that he's got in this contest. Far and away the, the most successful surfer in this event, and it's not just the event wins that are impressive, so many semi-finals, so many big heat score totals as Kanoa gets a chance to answer here on the exchange. He's not going to find his way through this one. Yeah, that one looked nice, but again, when the energy doesn't bend onto the reef or it starts to bend away, you see those barrels fill up with white water and just makes it nearly impossible to punch your way through. Kelly's positioning out here is really second to none. Just knows exactly what the wave is going to do, even these smaller ones. Well, you saw the bend in it. It actually curved back onto the reef, and that's what allows it to stay open. The energy pushes onto the shallow part and stays open. Even on a smaller wave, he knew that that wasn't going to shut down on him. And then Kanoa on just a little bit bigger wave, but again, it pushed off the reef. Had It didn't have that bend, that bowl effect coming back at the wave. So the wave ended up filling up with water and basically mushing out. Just under 16 minutes to go. Some waves coming our way. Some medium-sized rides on the inside, it looks like. Kanoa's taking off. Not too much on this one. He's going to kick out. Almost surfs his way back to the takeoff well, zone. He, he sees the set coming from behind. Leonardo getting his second chance at a score. Deep in the barrel. He got right to the end of that one, and it slammed shut hard. So he's going to take a heavy beating on that inside section. And uh, the highlight moments keep coming. That's why we call him a goat. Greatest of all time. Pretty tough. Uh, I mean, pretty easy to call him a goat. <laughs> <laughs> During the break, we had a wave for Kanoe Garashi. Slater had a good look at it. Oh, wow. And he had priority as well, but look at this. Beautiful long barrel for Kanoe Garashi. And you would have to say this is going to be a lead taking wave. Two sections. And then what? On the way back out? Look at how quickly that happened. That was, what, a little break of uh, two minutes? And we see another solid score coming in. And where was Slater for that one? Uh, you know, of the two. I mean, if you take a look here, paddling really hard into it. Has priority, but he was not under the ledge. And there he was, perfect little spot. You know, they <laughs> kind of make you fun of the alligator arms, you know, the knife paddle, where he's just not enough energy to, to get himself in. Maybe he can get a pair of webs. It looks to, as though Connor's going to have a pretty good shot chasing down that lead. Here we go, Kelly Slater up. And he's got a duck out there. Kick drops through the bottom of that one, the wave shut down. Again, I mean, uh, the smarts of protecting the foot. I mean, if you try and drive through that one, same situation. I mean, that's the thing. How did he injure his foot? It was a closeout barrel, right? So you would say that the very similar technique would be, he'd be using for a way of trying to make it. And that's why it's so tough in those ones that, that are gonna shut down like that. He can't really stay with it. He has to bail out early. You take a look at this one, he knew he was deep, did everything he can to pick up the speed, but as soon as he knows that it's not going to let him through it, he presses the eject button, pin dive. You can pick up on the judging trends and, yes. and see what's scoring well. Here we go, Leonardo making a move with just on a minute and a half to go. Can he turn this one around, trying to break combination? He should do that here. He's had some big turns on the open face, but this wave's not going to provide much, and he wants to get back out there for perhaps an opportunity to steal the lead. Slater. Has a look at this one, it's going to shut down. Again, that's that competitive smarts of Kanoa, not feeding into Kelly's selling of that closeout wave. Kanoa had the priority once Leo took that one. Take a look first at Leo's best wave of this heat, doing everything he can to slow down. He's using that front rail, jabbing it into the wall, as well as using both hands to slow himself down to maximize that tube time. You see he starts it off with the one arm, puts the second arm in there to put the brakes on. Again, shoving that front foot and that front rail. And then this close out here. Again, Kelly did everything he could to try and, try and get Kanoa to bite. Well, Kelly Slater and Leonardo Furavanti are going to have to fight their way through round five. 
But an impressive performance from Kanoa Igarashi, last year's Billabong Pipe Masters runner-up.